Further, I bequeath to my lovely sister uh, Genevieve my entire collection of jazz recordings. Lastly, for my only two grandchildren, I have a proposition. Sue and Mike, I'm proud of you and I love you. I'm going to be kaput when you see this, looking down on you from the great beyond. Sue, even though you're my daughter's daughter and Mike my son's son, it seems to me you've both turned out to be one and the same. Headstrong and brilliant. Like me. <laughs> Sue, you know I've always been supportive of your efforts to start that wildlife sanctuary in Big Bear. And Mike, you've had my best wishes for your aspirations in the entertainment industry, and I would be tickled pink if you succeeded. Here's how it divvies up. Each of you will receive from my estate, free and clear, a half a million dollars. Use it for whatever you like. Plus, a stipend of $40 million for whichever one of you whose career advances the most in the next 10 years. That's right, competition. I don't want you to get lazy. Further, you'll be required to submit at least one report per year to my executor documenting your progress. I trust her judgment as to which of you would be the most worthy to receive this very large sum of money. That's it. I love you. It's a long way home. Farewell. He died two days after he made that tape. Nine and a half years ago. Jeez. Has it been that long? Duh. Why are we recording this? It's stipulated we record our meetings. So Phil here, as always, does the honors. If you've ever shown up for a meeting, you'd probably know that. So as you can see, Levon, $40 million would provide a much-needed sanctuary for virtually all animal life here in Big Bear. Sue, so I've been receiving your video reports. Your plans are admirable, to say the least. Mike, from you, I've received nothing. You haven't received any of my reports? Not a one. Has your address changed? No, and you've never returned my calls either, Mike. So I'm intrigued. How have you been using the half million dollars you inherited from your grandfather? <laughs> well, you're an actor. Have you been in anything on the stage? Okay, you know what? No, no. I don't want you to laugh at me. I laugh at you, okay? I came up here on a bet, and I just won 500 bucks, and it's been five minutes of torturous hell, you cretins! I've, I've had my little uh, five minutes of fame. <laughs> well, have you ever appeared on TV? He's ready to come on out. During the fourth inning. Made any movies? Ah! Ah! What are you doing? Uh, yeah, sure, I've done all that. You know, I, I don't have a record of it on my person, uh, but I've been auditioning, like, constantly. You open a can of beer, it's snowing. Wee, <laughs> can't believe how good this beer tastes. Wee, okay, that's all. I have been heading up a theater, TV, movie production company, which has just been skyrocketing over the last eight plus years, and we're actually on the verge of launching some major things. I mean, isn't that basically what Grandpa wanted? <laughs> What a crock of crap. Sue, lick things. Well, Mike, I expect to receive a full decade's report within six months. Frankly, Mike, your grandfather left me instructions to show you somewhat preferential treatment in all this. What? Why? Sue, you know how your grandfather loved the arts. Call me when he submits his first report, Levon. I would love to see. I'll start new. You know, I'll start a real production company, the best one ever. Start. Sure. All right, well, uh, welcome to the genesis of the next great entertainment empire. <laughs> and, 
uh, thanks to DA for the use of the office. Sure. Uh, the only thing is we're only going to be able to have uh, meetings on Sundays. And if you can all be careful, never to be observed entering the building. Okay, okay I, I guess I'll begin. I have recently run across an investor who has legally signed a contract that if we could, in the next six months, churn out a blockbuster play, a must-see TV hit show, and a box office busting movie, he'll give us like a gajillion dollars. Cool. So the way I see it, you know, Joel, you probably got ideas for a TV show. You go with that. PJ and DA, you're our film directors. Uh, you guys take the film. You all have copies of the screenplay I wrote. Uh, Lila, you are our theater director, so you take the play. And uh, I had a thought just as I came in. Maury and Josh, you guys are musical. You know, what entertainment empire would be complete without a stable of recording artists? So you guys get together, record a hit soundtrack, and we'll all uh, sing on it like the Brady Kids. Cool. I, I can't tell if he's serious or not. I'm totally serious. Do all this in six months, because that's impossible. Okay, you, you know what, I'm glad you actually said that, Josh, because the way I see it is if one of these projects shows any artistic merit, this guy will surely pay out, because I happen to be a, a favorite protege of his. So, you know, here I have the opportunity of a lifetime. With whom do I share my fortune? With my friends, that's who. <laughs> Carleton College, right? My college buds, Lila, I know you didn't go to school with us, but you've been a part of our group ever since we got here. You know, and arrived in LA to take him by the balls. And what have we been doing? Telemarketing, sex phone operating. Some of us seem to have given up the business entirely. I mean, some of the greatest minds I know are here. And now you're all gonna get rewarded. Because if we succeed, you will receive two million Dollars salary each. What? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Six months work. So after taxes, you'll still be millionaires. Not bad. Two million dollars. The downside is, if we fail, we, we get nothing, and I basically have no money to fund this. So, is anybody not in? No. Cool. Why are we shooting this? Oh, yeah, a potential investor wants to see progress, so we're going to be recording everything. Uh, actually, we were supposed to have been together for the last eight plus years, so uh, watch what you say. But this is, uh, you know, the making of a film, so we could add extra cool stuff on the DVD, right? I'm, I'm still not sure if he's kidding. Oh, and you, oh uh, you know what, from now on, everybody just bring cameras, you know, uh, so we can get more angles. I know editing will be a bitch, but what the hell. Wait, wait, wait. so who's this investor? Is this some relative? No. He just uh, demands anonymity. So who are we using as actors? Us. We're all in-house. Well, maybe we could try doing one of those shows like Survivor or Big Brother. Exactly. Oh, and for the play, you guys, I've been wanting to do this new piece for oh, a while. Oh, yeah. Let's do something older. Let's not mess with rights. What is it? Anything that's uh, 75, 75 years or older? Yeah, exactly. Public domain, don't have to pay for rights. Do like some old Greek tragedy. Well, how much budget are we talking about? I could scrape together a few thou. What, uh, a few thou for one play? <laughs> uh, no, for everything. So I figure a thou to the play, thou to the movie, thou to the TV show, thou to the music department. I feel like Sony right now. Don't y'all feel like Sony? Look, my, yeah. this can't be done. I mean, uh, a few thou for, for, for a movie? I mean, what, what, Blair Witch cost, what, 30000 And that looked like a home video. Okay, I've mapped it out, and I know it's possible. Yes, we're not some network or major studio, but we don't want to be. We're not even an independent studio. We're dependent. We are. We're a dependent studio, and we depend on you, Maury, to the point of stalking desperation. We're actually a codependent studio. Well, look, you guys, I mean, I could get some major people to see our stuff. I used to read scripts at Disney. Oh, good. PJ could probably get us to premiere at Fox. I can't but... believe that Lila and PJ are an item. Didn't you guys break up years ago? Yeah, and now we're back together. Can you put the camera off of me? Okay, let's begin. Uh, DA, you did some research. Yeah, my academy researched the most successful movies worldwide, and the four most common words in the titles of high-grossing films are blood, Love, V, and the number two, presumably because of sequels. Right, so this informed me of what to write, and over the last week I wrote a screenplay about the discovery of a vial of Cupid's blood that could rid the world of all hatred. What? 
Well, obviously it's got to be called either the Love Blood 2 or Love the Blood 2 or the Blood Love 2. I mean, you know, there's no other rational combination of those four words. But this isn't a sequel to anything. Yeah, this is yeah. doesn't make any sense, okay. Michael. You can't Josh and Maury, why don't you guys climb out of the clown car because there's no room for attitude in the clown car. What? This is a codependent studio. We've got a great opportunity here, and you guys are being doubters. As a matter of fact, Lila, why don't you just cast Josh as the lead in the play? Because I don't even think I want him in the Love Blood, or the Blood Love, or Love the Blood. Two. All right, we're ready for the first shot. It's the first shot of the movie. It begins here. Speed, and we're rolling. Love Blood 2, or any of the three rational combinations of those words. Why don't we just try all three names, and then we can like release each version with different endings, like, like, like that Clue movie. The Love Blood 2, let's just call it the Love Blood 2. Not even a sequel to anything, though. It's the secret formula's name, like Love Potion Number 9, or Plan 9 from Outer Space. Excuse me, we're rolling. I have a really cool marketing ploy. We could like have a segment of the movie in 3D. Do you know how much money it costs to make those glasses? No, no, well, we could just, you know, in the advertising, just tell people to bring and a pair. And special cameras to shoot it, and the developing... Okay, okay, just get off my case, I man. said we're rolling! Was just somebody's slates? Oh, Jesus, PJ, calm down. All right, untitled movie project. Love, love, two. Scene one, take one. And action. And action. Okay, opening credits, and we see Lila, who's just generally mystified. And now suddenly, Lila backs into something, and turns, and says... What?! And cut! Super! All right, that's it for today. What? Yep, yeah, short day, but we got the first scene under our belt. <laughs> We're in the can. That was so easy. I'm so psyched. So far, everything's perfect. All right, let's get to the theater and get this play underway. This is an historic day! Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, shit.